So welcome to the Water Cube. Thank you. So can you tell me your name and organization and what you're doing? Uh, my name is uh, George Yawuji Agbimado. I work for CREPA. CREPA is a regional institution for local water supply and sanitation. And we work in 17 countries in West and Central Africa. Uh, it's an inter interstate organization that focus only on water and sanitation. Our interest is more in sanitation than water because uh, the gap was, uh, many years ago, the gap was in sanitation, so we focus more in sanitation. Okay. And which, which country do you work in? I work, uh, I work with CREPA in Senegal. Yeah. And, and what, 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 what did you come here to present? Okay, uh, I came here because uh, we've started a project, uh, a pilot project in uh, sanitation, but we uh, put in place a financial mechanism that was quite innovative. That's what I, want, uh, I came here to present. It's on the uh, microfinance in, 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 in the sanitation sector in rural area. Okay. So, and, and you told me earlier that you're the you were essentially the person who came up with the idea. Yeah. So it's really interesting to hear then, you know, you, you've been doing microfinance and sanitation in rural areas. I mean, what, what inspired the idea for the project and what, what makes it stand out fr from, you know, practice before okay. uh, this project started? Actually, uh, thank you for that question. Uh, I think uh, this project um, uh, was um, firstly uh, the initiative uh, of human habitat, uh, which is a uh, human settlement uh, organization uh, related to UN systems, and it's what and 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 the the the, the, the water for African initiative, the water for African cities initiative, and um, the the main objectives of that uh, water for African cities is to provide water for Africa uh, for, 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 for cities actually. But how can we in the, under this program we we focus in rural area. Mm -hmm. It's that like the, the, the idea is the water that is used is, is being used in the in the capital city Dakar. Yeah. Uh, is coming from a rural area. Is is yeah. where there's a lake we call uh, yeah. Lac de Gay, yeah. and that lake uh, supply about uh, twenty five percent of the uh, water supply of the of and that is, city. Is there open defecation? So there, the lake? Yeah. Uh, we locate the, the area just because the water is the most important resource. Of the cup of, of the whole country, and it's supplying the water for many cities. But there, people living around, they don't have toilet facilities. They don't yeah. even have access to drink potable water. So there, there comes the idea that to we to put in place a system that to be uh, sustainable mm -hmm. in terms of uh, financing. Um, uh, adequate sanitation systems in the area mm. so that w once the project will end up that initiative will start will will, will, will be running itself okay for, for long so so so, so what are what are the different uh, microfinance uh, solutions or projects or loans that are going out and wi which part of the sanitation cycle okay. are you targeting are you just targeting construction or are there also okay. Um, maintenance uh, services like emptying toilets. So actually, what the main uh, project is about is to control um, infrastructures. But is as we put in place the financial mechanism that we we expect will be running itself uh, at, at, at the end of project, we start uh, uh, building capacity of stakeholders, uh, local artisans like masons that to train in order to have as available the technology mm. uh, in, 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 the, in the villages. Then we do a lot of social marketing and, mm -hmm. and, and communication campaign to emphasize the, the, the use of, uh, of, 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 of latrines. Okay. We provide people of 
a, a broad range of, of, of sanitation systems yeah. going from VIP, what is uh, ventilated, yeah. improved per bit, and, and to poor flush, to yeah. bathroom, and yeah. soaking away, and all, every, all, all these facilities. Yeah. We provide them with, with that range of facilities, and we want them to choose themselves what fits to them. Yeah. And then, as they were, they were choosing, then they choose according to the ability to pay. Yeah. Do you do you have an idea of what the different costs of these different systems are, and how long they last? Because, for example, a VIP latrine might have a problem of filling up if uh, there are no businesses or small enterprises which can empty it or maintain it. Okay, okay. Uh, for VIP, uh, we, we, what the people do, do, do not uh, like uh, so much, um, they, the depletion period is about uh, 15 years. Okay. We, the design is such that if you it's double pipe, I mean double pit. Okay. When one is filled, we leave we leave it until all the mat fecal matter de digest. Yeah. Turn out, turn yeah. Out. And we use an uh, the alternative one. Then yeah. after that we empty it, just we can use it for fertilizer in the, yeah. in, in, in the crop, for fertilizing the crops. Okay. We also have uh, four flash also the system is designed the same way of double pipe which are used uh, alternatively. This yeah. is the same use. We also have a UD urine diversion toilets. Yeah. And Eco these soil yeah, these toilets we call them eco sand toilet. The, uh, uh, the the main objective is to provide people of uh, human manure to, to so so, so in this area which one is most popular? Okay, what people give preference to is 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 um, poor flush actually because it uses water and in our area people use water for cleaning one after after defecation yeah. so that's why they prefer that one because in the other uh, systems using water after defecation is quite difficult for them yeah so that's, yeah. The, that's why they give preference to, to that one and people b will be wondering how we came up with this idea and how does it work uh, what make it work yeah. What I can say is that when you have, in most cases, what makes project fail yeah. is that so those who are expert, yeah. they just sit in their office yeah. and be waiting for for, for result. Yeah. It will never work. They have to take a commitment, go to see people where they are, yeah. where the project is in, in being pl implemented to yeah. see what to. What they are doing, yeah, and this encourage them. You imagine that he, the boss of the, the, I mean, the project manager who supposed to be an expert uh, is implementing a project in a rural area. Yeah, what rural area will appreciate is that the, that boss came in the village with his huge car and come to meet them. They will be happy, and they will be thinking that ah what we are doing here is very good. So people appreciate that and we are having a very um, VIP guest. Yeah. You understand? This, this is, is the encouragement for, for yeah. people. What this is what we need. Not just sit in the in the yeah. in the because when it's time for the project preparation, the concept paper and the um, I mean the proposal, you see we seek aspect with the seat and the right project. But then what what if the project starts? Why not go see meet people and so yeah. frequently to to, to encourage yeah. them to? So so so. This is what we do. So there's one one last question we need to end this interview. Yeah. But I'm wondering, um, uh, is it? I mean, what is the experience in terms of the microfinance loans? I mean, are people able to repay, or do some of them become grants? So uh, that question, uh, this is what I, I, I mean. Many people will be wondering: uh, Are they paying? Uh, how they pay? At the beginning, we carry out uh, a, a baseline study just to look at to to, to figure out their um, ability to pay. Then the willingness to pay comes up with the quality of the facilities. 
if they, we provide them with a the very good quality of facility, then they will pay because they want that one. So what we do in many villages, as the project is still going on, uh, the coverage rate is quite uh, low. But in many of the villages, the coverage rate is even more than 100%. Mm. Yeah, this is this shows that in rural area, this kind of microfinancial system can can work. Yeah, provided we, we, we give people with range of uh, facilities that are quality, that are sustainable. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They, 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 they could, they could well, thank you very much. Thank it was you. nice talking to you. Thank you.